Welcome to Max Life Out Cycling. This is a quick video to share the hack that I put together to be able to mount my 157 or Super Boost mountain bike on my Wahoo Kicker 2018. The Kicker comes with an adapter for a 148 or 142, so that's a regular or boost, but Wahoo do not provide a Super Boost adapter. This is a solution I came up with. I purchased the Elite Trainer 12 by 157 adapter. So this is a Super Boost adapter for an Elite Trainer, not for the Wahoo. This is not a turnkey solution for the Wahoo uh, for the following reasons. Number one, it's machined here to fit the Elite Trainer. The Wahoo, the Wahoo adapter, actually has a 19 millimeter um, insert. That is the same insert as this around here. As you can see, this side here is actually 16 millimeters. So when I put this on the bike, I first of all put it in this way around and it, it really wobbles because there's also a chamfered edge on the edge here. So I did think about turning it around, but I didn't want this sharp edge up against my frame. The other problem with this is because there's nothing really sitting in there except this very narrow piece here, um, it, it actually wobbles significantly. The other thing that is notable is that this is actually three millimeters shorter. So what I actually did is I did put it on the bike, I did get the through axle through it, um, and this was mounted up against the Wahoo. The problem here was it all held in place, but I was just a little bit too worried about the wobble and also the clamp of those three millimeters on the frame. So I looked into uh, the option of having a machine shop make me a piece to replace it. Um, they couldn't do this patterning on the end, which I don't think would have been too much of a problem, but I did want to find a solution that I, where it would allow me to use this adapter um, and be a little bit simpler. And what I came up with after a bit of research was I found this tube here and it's an aluminium or aluminium tube. The great thing is, is that the diameter is 16 millimeters on the inside and 19 millimeters on the outside. So the 16 millimeters fits nicely over the top of the 16 millimeters here and it's exactly the same um, diameter as the 19 millimeter outside. What that allowed me to do was to cut a shim. So I cut an 18 millimeter shim and I can now place that shim over the top of the adapter. And you can see that there's, this is the three millimeters on the inside here and put that into the trainer. Now, from a machine standpoint or from an engineering standpoint, I have some concerns about the fact that I'm going from steel to aluminium or aluminium, and also that there is um, this piece of, this is the meat that's really pressed up against the inside. However, when it's pressed up, it is pretty firm in there. Um, and then once the through axle goes through and clamps it to the bike, it creates a pretty firm um, engagement. So I'm prepared to give that a try and use it. Uh, I, I've ridden it on the trainer a few times and there's been no damage or wobble or anything that I can see. Uh, this is a hack that I came up with. Uh, if you try it, do you try it at your own risk. Um, it is an 18 millimeter cut piece off of this tubing. Uh, I will share the link for both of these in the description below should you be interested in trying it and this is fitting it into the wahoo kicker you can see it slots in there nicely and there's very little slack in that once it's in place let's see if i can get as close a close up for you and then we take it out and put it back in Obviously you can take it out and the shim stays in place. That's the shim. So just a close up of the shim as it sits into the frame. And then.
Thanks for checking out the video. If you found it helpful or liked it, please shoot me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, or click on the bell for future videos. Until next time, Max Life out.